So what were you doing? Where were you when you were the, speaking of happy, the happiest with Charlie? Here. Happiest. Here. We had our wedding here. Home. But I was happy wherever I was with him. I mean, we had wonderful times together. You know, we just, whatever we did, so comfortable. I think that also, I think we talked about this when we first met, that both of you were especially grateful because you had what you didn't want for so long before. No question. I never thought, I used to say to him, I don't have any fantasies anymore. I mean, tr that's the truth. On whatever level you want to think of it, mm -hmm. it's the truth. You know? You had I, arrived. I never thought that um, I would have that kind of grace and gift. Yeah, like, you know, people talk about how people come to this earth to be together, and it's so clear. I think... Charlie and I have had many, uh, many travels together. Yeah, like it just... Can't wait for the next one. And I didn't meet him, but I just know that you guys made sense. Like, you... We were, we like, were one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the word perfect. I think it's a lousy word. I yeah. think it's a destructive kind of a word for women and things. But if I had to say it about us... I don't think it gets any better than what we had. I don't know, but it was amazing. My best friend said to me, if I didn't love you so much, I'd be so jealous of you. <gasps> she did. I think she said that a while ago. Like, because every she adored him. I mean, he was he was beautiful, you know. And I love that she said that's such a good friend because a real oh, friend. Oh, we're, like, we're like sisters. Yeah, I love that. No, it was the truth. Because everybody doesn't have that. Right. I didn't have it for 28 well, years. This is why I'm doing the documentary to inspire people. Good. I like that you said that you didn't feel alone anymore because we talk about this a lot. I talk about this with my clients, shows, I've felt it, where you can be amongst people, but you feel alone. And so I love that you it like it awakened this in you that it was like that was a quality of your relationship with him. Yes, no question about it. I don't know that I felt that way about my girlfriends because my friends have always been my lifeline since I'm a little girl. So I didn't feel alone that way. But alone But in really a walking through the world um, yeah. I did. But that just proves what I'm setting out to inspire people, that, like, the romantic love, like, that love is, like you said, different from a son, different from Brent, like, it is the most important. There's no question in my mind. And the thing that Charlie always used to say to me, and it took me a little while to understand this, was he wasn't surprised at our connection. I mean, those are my vows up there. Mm -hmm. If you read what he wrote, well, what we both wrote, but um, he would always say, but we've always been friends. You know, there was always, meaning there was always a connection. That was his way of saying that. Because there was, besides all of the romance and all of that wonderful stuff, the, the, the friendship was, I mean, we would have done anything for each other. It was boundless. You didn't just love each other, you liked each other. Oh, absolutely. I was, man, I was in a room on his arm. I, I was so proud of him. As a human being, for, forget the fact that he was really cute, no mm. question. But it was more than that. It was his essence, it was who he was, and how it was so obvious to anybody that had the slightest bit of consciousness could tell who this person was. You know, I always say I was honored to be his wife. I still feel that way, you know. Okay, complete this sentence. 
the stop and start. 